Well, it's time now for our hot topic, and we're focusing on, on those states. Uh, there is a, a sunset and there is a dawn in uh, Ondo State right now. But uh, before we go to the nitty-gritty of that, uh, we have our guest here uh, who will be talking about these issues. Uh, Dr. Ibrahim Oshinowo, enterprise and investment risk expert, has joined us to talk on, a do, um, on Ondo State, rather. Mm -hmm. Good morning and welcome to the program, Doctor. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Like I said, it's um, a sunset for Akeridolu. Uh, he's no more. Uh, but it is the dawn of a new day for Ayedetiwa in uh, Ondo State. Ayedetiwa has been sworn in uh, as we bid farewell to uh, Akeridolu at this time. So let's, let's just get you your, your opinion on uh, uh, issues leading to this moment and what you expect uh, from Ondo State from here on out. Yeah, um, this um, was actually a great man. Um, he is a symbol of someone you can call a patriot. Uh, he loves his country. He loves all those states. And he served Nigeria diligently. Um, his dismay is, you know, a huge loss to um, a lot of us. I could remember when I was in um, the University of Imbado, uh, my mom, elder, elder brother, was the chief engineer of UCH. So I met him in 1990 as a young guy. He was already a lawyer in a Moliti. And when we go for student journalism back in the days, I remember him and uh, a prophet who was actually the lawyer for the so-called uh, uh, bad boys in school who uh, use the unionism to speak for the oppressed and challenge the military. But uh, we were dealt with. But Okwakiri Dulu and the buffet was actually one of the pioneers who will come to Ibado and the uh, University of Ife. Bafi Naolo, as it then was, the late uh, Babatunde Atulu was also in Ife, and uh, Ebuande Gurua was also in Ife. In fact, Ebuande Gurua was even suspended and rusticated. Ebuande Gurua is here back in the days. But of, of course, if you are in, you are, and you are in uh, Ife, it's the same link road that link to both universities. So most of the union boys. Uh, student union you know, boys who are in Ife and the one in the uh, University of Lampano are mostly linked. And many of us were suspended, you know, from school, you know, causing trouble, protesting, you know, the military. And these are legal luminaries who stood firm for us as young boys who naively, you know, behave as a term, as a term, you know. So Akebulu was actually a pan Africanism, you know, he hates oppression. It's not, uh, it doesn't count the oppressed. Uh, I could remember also when he lost his first election to Agaku. Um, I briefly worked closely, not so much uh, in the uh, sphere of his ally, you know, in terms of policy management, you know, uh, risk performance, uh, project management, especially, you know, uh, uh, funding of projects. Um, he is part of those people that we discussed uh, professional, you know, taxes. It's time for PhD taxes research that we had uh, in Switzerland, in part of the Western Africa, where we are developing retail enterprises to be measured in terms of funding of uh, projects, you know, before you execute a project, soil text, you know, environmental impact assessments, and, you know, uh, funding of um, investment in terms of, you know, quantitating the risk analysis of any project you want to be measured. It's one of those people that bought into those, uh, you know, new and, you know, you know, um, expansive, you know, mode of investment uh, portfolio for state government. Also, uh, if you could remember, uh, during the forming of APC, Governor Kedulu was actually one of the pillars uh, of the party. You know, he stood firm. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't really, really care about how you feel as long as 
his interest and his mode of you know expression is for the people at the same time uh, in 2007 during Yaragua, you know uh, issue he spoke eloquently also uh, letting the jails know that if you are here you must transfer power and I, could, I can read, I, I don't read few commentary from, you know, dailies and, you know, online medias, you know, uh, castigating him that he should relinquish power, he should do this, he should do that. And I like, I'm very happy that Kyle Dajudo, my dear friend and brother, SAM, also alluded that he knew the Akedo that he knows, if he has the opportunity to write, or is capable of delivering species, he will have transferred the power to Aida. Mm. And I'm very sure the day I had that comment from Kyle uh, 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 saying, I was very impressed. You know, he's not a greedy person, and he's also a constitutionalism. He loves to attend to the dictates of the Constitution. He was elected uh, also as NBA president. You know, unanimously and performed credibly with nobody in this country. If we are uh, far above 40, 55, you will know actually that he is a man, he's a constitution, you can call him a constitutional man. You will follow the constitution to the letter. And his reign, why in MB, it was very memorable. A lot of people will, will remember him. Uh, also, during the famous. Um, South and North, where the, the North wanted to, to retain power, is poor. Even challenge the president and let him know that either you like it or not, the constitution is built on rotation. North cannot retain power either by direct influencing the process or proxy it through using PDP to get a candidate from the North. He stood firm and spoke, you know, altruistically. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't, he, if you know him, a lot of people that know um, uh, Governor Fedeli will tell you that he will speak out. He's not a, he's not a, you know, a pretensive. He will speak out. He will speak out. He would not mind um, uh, if the moon is going to, uh, is going to be cloudy and sunny at the same time. He will, he will speak out. So he's actually a nationalist, you know, and history will always remember him for good. And also, if you look at during the uh, um, Fulani, uh, you know, X Man and Katu era in you know, those states, he told them directly that he would not allow, you know, gracing, you know, cow or, you know, uh, herders coming to those states. And start, uh, you know, killing people uh, in the pretense of you rearing your cow. Same thing as the then governor of Wikiti State, uh, uh, Mr. Fayoshi, you know, those are brave, um, uh, you know, the, um, intelligent Southwesterners that we think we are. And in general, I can tell you that the Southwesterners, we have lost a very real gem. Yeah. We have lost a fighter. Yeah. We have lost a nationalist. And we are lost, we've lost, you know, one of our best prey, you know, is if you look at his reign also, let's take a small date in Ondo State. You know, it took power six years ago. Go to Ondo State. Most of the projects in there were executedly, you know, to the best of the world class. You know, he applied his wealth of you know background as a professional, you know, legal luminary into the governance. Most of these things are done transparently. So it's hard for you to hear anything bad about a criminal. It's very hard for you to hear anything. Okay. Then talk to family. It's a Trump bed manager. The first lady is from Imo State, for instance. You can imagine the wife that he got married to almost 40 years ago was from, from the East. So it shows his nationalism in terms of his attitude, his personality, what he believes. He believes in this country. He believes that Nigeria is still going to be great, you know. So, uh, he's a man of many, many parts. So, it's a very sad, uh, you know, yeah, event. Sad. Of course, you know, uh, 
we, we share the same sentiments. We share the same sentiments with you. We were talking earlier uh, how we would like to remember him for all the yes. things that you have mentioned here and even more, especially in terms of security. You didn't mention Amoteku, Amoteku. but we know that his, his, uh, yes. his contribution yes. led to the formation of that Amotekun yes. and the funding yes. of Amotekun to make it stand yes. as it is right Absolutely. now. Uh, Absolutely. Towards the end of his, ter his life, not even his tenure, um, uh, it seems as if some people were trying to rubbish his image and doing things that were attributed to him that may not be attributed to him or may not have emanated from him. But that aside, that would be another... Uh, kettle to fry another day, <laughs> but how do you think we should immortalize somebody as great as um, Akere Dolu was uh, in, in the Nigeria sphere? What do you think we can, we can do to immortalize a man like that so that tomorrow another person might just see and say, okay, it's good to be a patriot like yeah. Akere Dolu was because I too will be immortalized. Uh, a lot of ways that we can immortalize such, you know, a rare gem. Um, first of all, uh, we call on the new governor to be magnanimous and show, you know, uh, absolute, you know, uh, loyalty to Akira Dulu's uh, legacy. Because without God and Akira Dulu, he would not be here. Akira Dolu, if you remember, removed Agora, the then deputy governor, and been looking from nowhere, from nowhere, I mean from nowhere, to become the deputy governor of the state. So, he definitely, you know, uh, hold Akira Dolu, even after, in his grave, he hold Akira Dolu. So, what I expect to tell the new governor to do is to continue the uh, good work the gentle, the late uh, Governor Kri Dolu has been doing. Don't forget that people from those states voted for Roti Miyotu and Akri Dolu, not Loki Aida Tiwa. But the Constitution must take its precedent, must take its, 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 its must find its way. That, was, that is what uh, happened yesterday by, you know, not investigating the space in governance. Somebody must be there. And Aeta Atiwa is now the governor of those states. Continue from where Governor Akhe Dolu stopped. So, what I expect him to do is to give him one of the, you know, best defeating barrier, number one. Two, don't rubbish his image or his legacy project. Most of these projects, even those ones that are going, I will encourage him to continue and ensure that he commissioned all of them in the name of Akere Dulu. Most of his, you know, reform in Ondo State Judiciary also should be, you know, continue. I will encourage him to build one of the best icons mm. in Akure for him. Name it after him. And I'm sure Akira Dulu will be smiling at him in his grave. Most of the courts should be renovated. Most of the courts in those states, you know, should be upgraded. And uh, many more things to do for him. And I can only wish the new governor all the best. Now to the federal government, I'll call on them. Especially, I know Ashwadu knows. If you look at Ashwadu, uh, the Mr. President, uh, 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 press release yesterday, you know, it mentioned a lot of things and it shows how uh, quality of a being that Akira Dulu was. Um, the Federal University of Akure, Puta, can be named is a suggestion with, you know, by naming it after late governor, Rotimi, Akira Dulu University. That would not be a bad idea. There are any other universities uh, that you think is good for him. And I'm sure most of the universities, the faculties of law, will also do something to neutralize the late, you know, MBA president and, uh, and executive government. So these are things that they can do to, to immortalize him. At the same time, life must move on. Governors, <clears throat> governors must move on. And okay. Uh, okay. his family also should be remembered in terms of, you know, you know, 
kind of along governance without yes, without you know uh, particular you know people who are showing um, tendency of emperor within his family. But you can pick one or two people to work with mm. and let them see that okay, they respect. You know, the fellow is just less than one year, and if the new governor is lucky enough to be elected, he has enough enough time to be elected. He, he will be ready. will be ready. if possible. He is is able to contest and win his election. He can govern on those state for the next eight years. Mm. Adding to the one I can't do left. That's going to be nine years. So he has to be magnanimous and make sure that his boss name keeps winning in this short span of one year that he is going to. You know, okay, um, but in the in the meantime, uh, when these problems were going on in Ondo State, did Akere Dolu leave power? Did he sign this? Did he do that and all that? I'm sure there must have been some bad blood between Camp A and B, whatever mm -hmm. th that might be. Uh, so what do you think the new governor should do to be able to bring all the camps together? Because a family divided cannot stand. So what are some of the things you would recommend for Ayede Tiwa to do to unify the people, first of all, and then move uh, forward from there? Let me tell you about governance in India. I've mentioned a few things that uh, if Governor Ayede Tiwa is listening, he will be for them. It's very simple. Camp A can be from the time Akedo was pronounced dead, I can tell you there is no camp in Ogodo State again. Mm. From the time that gentleman was sworn in yesterday as a governor of Ogodo State, everybody will fall under immediately. That's the power of the governor. If you look at the governor, that's why some of us are just laughing at that. Uh, and that uh, uh, sorry, with due respect to you, Governor Fubara. You take time. You take time and read the constitution. You will see what is I am trying. Under the president, this their schedule, president's schedule and governor's schedule. It's windows. There's no camp again. There was no start of time talking about that. All those camps that you are seeing will fall. All of them. You can see what the, most of the staunch enemy of fire that were were in the hall, singing faces on him. I want to take a pound of flesh. I want to take his pound of flesh, you know. That's what we are hoping will not happen. But all of them, they will fall in. All of them, including the speaker. You can do the speaker, the speaker that wanted to impeach him. Was right beside him. Looking at place. Funny. It's really funny. It's a place. What are you talking about? He controls the resources of the state. He's the chief security of the state. He's the number one gentleman of the state. Right. All seven, nine million, nine million population of um, on those, on those uh, good people of on those states, it controls them. It's not the party leader in on those states. He heads the government. He wants to remove the speaker now. He doesn't. He will just. It doesn't cost him anything to remove the speaker. Majority or maybe out of all the even those ones that are signing impeachment notice, some of them must have been sending small one of their albums to go and beg him now. <laughs> some of them will be in his house this morning, frustrating. They will be listening to us, <laughs> frustrating. Okay, please, I don't know. It is the speaker that is about uh, even the party chairman, engineer, I forgot his name. The party chairman who is running around and blowing out to carry the loop immediately will be begging. Well, so don't let us talk about camp. Camp is no more. He's the governor now. Okay. He wears the crown now. He holds the sword. Sword. He can cut anybody. Mm. But he should not do that. Yes, that, that's what that's I was going to say. We, on, we only we that they don't bring do personal that. issues. Right? He should not do that. He should remember that although people voted for Rotimi, he didn't do He should not do that. I'm not encouraging him to do that. If he engaged in you know vicious campaign because politics comes with pain betrayal if you engage in that the consequence will be larger mm. you should not do that you should be magnanimous you should call everybody have a stakeholder meeting both leaders the national assembly members you should discuss with everybody and move forward Forget somebody wants to impeach me, they are not impeaching me, they are this, they are that. 
uh, those ones. But I can tell you, there's no, there's no cap A, cap B again. No, nobody, nobody again. So now that so okay. you know, it's kind of not going to the issue again. You have a leader now. That is a governor. He's not acting governor. He's executive governor mm -hmm. now. Of the states. Executive right. governor of those states. Of those states. So he you know, he solves that problem there. So I was going to ask, now that he is the governor, can he fill the shoes of Akira Dulu? And what, what would the people of Undoste be expecting from him? Because for a long time, uh, about a few months, they did not have a governor before he was even sworn in as the, as the acting governor. Now that he is the executive, the executive governor of the state, what can the people of Undoste expect from him? And how can he move Undoste forward in this time? few things he can do. Obviously, he needs to be a man of himself. He has his own agenda. He is now the, the, you know, the image of Odo people. He needs to, you know, there's a poverty in the land. He needs to make sure that Odo people smiles again. He needs to make sure that, you know, business in Odo you know, state thrives. He needs to make sure that the governance of Odo state, the resources of Odo state is prudently used for the benefits, you know, of Odo people. And make sure that the uh, the resources and you know uh, um, uh, um, uh, economic viability of those state tries. Um, it's going to be it's not going to be fair for us to say that it needs to still run in the shoe of Akede Dulu. No, 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 it needs to do his own things. Now he is in charge. He needs to come out. Maybe some policies that he feels is better as a deputy governor. He might not be able to express it. Now this is the opportunity. In terms of you know SMEs, in terms of you know the business community in those states, in terms of markets, in terms of hospital, hospital you know uh, health um, sector, what is going on there? I noticed that most of the primary schools were not well you know uh, um, uh, um, equipped, programmed. They can you know build more primary schools, build more secondary schools good primary health care centers, you know, good inner roads, you know, good pipe bomb water for the people. Kundu is very rich. It is a whole oil rich state. You know, he can, he can do a lot of things. Oh, he needs to be well. man of we himself. Hear that there's, there's he needs to be, he, he needs to be man of himself and mm -hmm. do something good for, for his people. He doesn't necessarily need to run on that case. I think I don't know his God is gone. Forget it. He's gone. It's just his legacy that we just have to, you know, enrich a little bit. But he's he will is come. So we must move on. Is there any talk about uh, a deputy yet? Or is he going to do a, a, a one-man show till the end of this tenure? So that the deputy governor? Yes. Yes, that's his, that's his, his own prerogative. He has the right to, you know, choose anybody he wants to be. He will nominate anybody as a deputy governor. But I will advise him to consult widely. Is from the Ilaje side, uh, where um, I'm not sure they've produced any governor for a very long time. I'm not sure they have any governor. It's between the central and the south. Is it south or north? Or do not where Akeridolu comes from. So I think it is a great opportunity for him if he's able to manage these people because the Ilaje, where he comes from, has never produced a governor. Uh, the Agbola tried it, the former. Uh, Deputy Governor, he didn't win. You know, the battle is always between Akari Dolu and the East Tyrone Jemende. So now he has the opportunity to showcase himself within one year. Make sure he's, you know, he's able to bury himself within the people, the grassroots, and, you know, make himself as accessible, come out with a better program to sell himself. Then the larger people can also, you know, produce the next governor in the next four years. So it is not it's not a lonely it's not a lonely journey for him. He has a lot of parts ahead of him. He has a lot of tasks. Yes, he's sweet, but he needs to, you know, <laughs> a, a roll of his sleeves and that, you that know. laughter. That laughter <laughs> is scary. Okay. I'm telling you, he needs uh, to he needs to work out. Yeah. Don't forget that Italian Jagede from PDP is dead. He and Akredo, despite the fact that Akredo was actually on ground. Is a battle royale for both of them. Mm. You know, the deep, the disparity in number between both of them is only about 10,000, 15,000 votes. Quite not much. Mm. So, not to talk of either, so who is, you know, you know, if a new cat in the game. Right. So, he's coming to, you know, to uh, well. battle 
Is that who is the is the national Ta figure? Time shall, the, the time shall tell. State of Nigeria also. Time so shall tell. Back. So he needs to look up. He needs to. He needs to. He needs yeah. to start working immediately. Yeah. And don't create any bad law or go on a vengeance mission with anybody. He needs to bring everybody. We wish him well. We wish yes. on those people well. And uh, time shall tell what what will happen. We do hope that. Whether he continues and contests and wins as a governor after this tenure or not, we hope that this one year will be a very productive year for the people of Ondo State and yes. for himself. Sorry, let me add one more well. thing also. On Just the deputy, he needs to, on the deputy also, he needs to go back to, probably I would suggest to him to go back to Akedolu's local government or the federal constituency to bring another person so that it can, you know, show, you know, some, you know, some, goodwill and love to people of Akredo. You can take people, someone credible from Akredo's side. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of people there, the likes of Begele, uh, Begele, uh, who have crashed through the likes of so many of them there from Akredo constituency, and take one of them as a deputy, so they can only show. We oh, wish him, we wish him luck in finding his deputy yeah. and uh, moving on this, on, moving on this state forward at this time. We want to say thank yes. you for joining our program and thank you for talking with us. And we pray that the legacy well. of Akira Dulu yeah. will continue to live on. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're yeah, always welcome. Thank you for having me again. Yes. All right. We've been speaking to. Uh, Mr. Dr. Ibrahim Musinawa, he is an investment and risk expert. And we've been talking about the legacy of Akere Dulu and the new dawn for Aida Tiwa, who is now the executive governor of Ondo State. But that's where we wrap it up on today's show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The final Thursday in 2023. And tomorrow is going to be the final breakfast show in for fact, 2023. Yeah. Uh, well. It's been a very lovely ride with you guys. Right. Um, this speech should be reserved till tomorrow, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been so lovely knowing that you're always there. Thank mm -hmm. you for being a part of our lives yes. till this moment. Yeah. By yeah. the way, that tomorrow will come. Mm -hmm. And uh, until then, I still remain Yamgul Agaji. I am Rumet Paulson. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Bye.